guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about how to start judo when you're an older guy. Uh, me, myself, I'm an older dude. I started when I was 37 and I'm 39 right now. I've been doing judo for two and a half years and um, I'm still going strong. Uh, yeah, I had injuries and stuff like that but anyways, that's why I'm making this video so that uh, it might help you guys out if you're if you're starting judo at a later uh, date, later age, I mean. So before I get into it, um, please take a, a second to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I pump out about five to ten videos a week, and um, yeah, it would really help me out. I'd, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna give you guys um, five five things that I think would really help you if you decide to start judo. Okay, uh, the first thing. Learn how to break fall, okay? Falling is the most important thing. You really have to get comfortable learning how to fall uh, when, um, when you're being thrown, okay? This is gonna help avoid a lot of injuries, okay? Um, and then the second thing is you wanna be conditioned. So what do I mean by that? I mean you wanna be strong, you want your muscles to be strong and your, your, your joints uh, to be to be in shape and your connective tissue to be strong you know your ligaments your tendons and all that so all that is done by going to the gym mostly okay um, so that's the second thing the third thing is you want to spar okay and you'll have to talk to your coach about this so he could tell you who you should spar with you want to spar with guys who are high level and who have very good control so basically uh, it tends to be more brown and black belts, okay, that are very good, that whoop your ass, that can whoop your ass, but they won't break you, okay? So that's really important because uh, two beginners going at it together is a recipe for disaster, especially when it comes to judo and you're standing up. Like if two guys don't know what they're doing, they're going hard, they're going fast, and they don't know what they're doing and they have no control, I mean, that's how shit breaks you know knees shoulders whatever so that's the um, that's the third thing so the fourth thing would also be to um, talk to your coach and ask them okay so what are the dangerous positions uh, that I don't want to be in for my knees okay because a lot of the time in judo it's your shoulders and knees that go <laughs> those are the main two things that go right when people are falling so He'll show, he should be able to show you uh, the positions that you have to be aware of that are dangerous for your knee. And when you're in, in a configuration where there's potential uh, uh, danger, right? Like you have to be able to pull your leg out or at least, and, or accept the fall, kind of, you know? So that's the, um, that's the fourth thing. And the fifth thing, right? The fifth one would be to really accept the fall. Okay, so when I say accept the fall, I mean that if, if it's, it's kind of like in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's less obvious in Judo, but in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, if a guy gets you, he gets you in an arm bar, okay, you're holding on and like, as soon as you let go, just tap because you, you already feel the guy's like, he's going to get it. Don't wait until he locks it out and starts cranking on it and then tap out. Like that's a bad idea, okay? So in Judo, it's a little bit more subtle, but I mean, if you... Um, feel like oh man this guy you know like uh, he's he pulled he, he pulled you towards him and okay he has you and you're a little bit slightly off balance and he's starting to rotate fuck it just fall so accept the fall and it's gonna cause you less uh, you 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 less likely be injured that's why I go back to, uh, to 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 the first thing that I told you guys which is to learn and and become really good and comfortable at break falling, at falling, at accepting the falls. That way, that last thing that I'm talking about is that when you're fighting, just accept the damn fall, you know? If you accept the fall, no problem. A lot of times people get hurt because they try to resist the fall, okay? And then they start countering and then either they hurt themselves or they hurt their partners by busting up their knees because they countered too hard and, you know, no. And also, like, here's the thing. If you're already like, I would say, if you feel like the guy's already about to throw you, he's halfway there, I mean, it's in essence, like you, you kind of already lost because 
the idea is to completely avoid uh, letting your opponent, opponent getting to like almost 50% uh, to the throw, you know? So it, it's like um, a game of chess, right? Like once you get, once you get set up, it's, it's already too late. So, okay, well maybe in chess you can, you know, you have time to think about shit, but in, um, in judo, no, you don't have time. So when you see that your opponent, it's like, oh, and, and you'll, you'll, um, you'll get used to this and you'll, you'll figure it out, you'll see what I mean uh, with time. You know, you, like when a guy has it, it's like, fuck, <laughs> he had it. So you'll recognize um, these little uh, moments, these little patterns where like uh, you know you're pretty much screwed so when you when you when you know you're pretty much screwed instead of being like no fuck this I'm gonna try something magical and uh, I'm gonna like just you know take my leg out and 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 fucking you know like uh, suplex this guy or some shit like that nah, don't do it not not at the beginning not until you get uh, a lot more comfortable with um, uh, with your technique and, and stuff like that. So at the beginning, really just, if you see like, oh man, he got you, well, hey, he got you, you know? Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope it helps. And um, please leave a comment down below. Any questions you have, I'll, I'll try to answer them, of course. And that's it, guys. So have a good one. Peace.